Men and women of Australia, I'm here tonight to ask for your help in a national campaign of community service. There's so much that we as Australians can be proud of. Through hard work and industry, we've built a nation that is in many ways the envy of the world. We're blessed with the most amazing human capital. Our people possess an array of skills and talents. But most of all, we can be proud that we're keeping alive the great Australian tradition of the fair go. I'm here tonight to ask you to contribute some of your skills and energy to reach out to those people in our community who need a helping hand. Because we know that even in the midst of so much that is good, there is still so much that has to change. There are still too many of our kids who start school already behind in their reading. Too many of our young people slipping through the cracks. And too many of our older people isolated and lonely in their homes. These are problems we can do something about, but governments can't do it alone. We know the best way to solve problems of disadvantage is to have someone in the local community who can lend a helping hand. And if our history teaches us anything, it's that these problems can be solved and the solutions lie in our hands. We need only look back on the last century to draw inspiration from what we've already achieved. It was in Australia and New Zealand that women first won the right to vote. We invented the eight hour working day and our people experienced the highest standard of living the world had ever seen. We lifted ourselves out of depression and fought and sacrificed as one to defeat the evil of fascism. And after the war, at a time when our people were still sharing rations, we came together to build the schools and hospitals and roads for the generation that was then being born. At a time when money was short, when we didn't have much, what we did have was each other. And so we built voluntary associations, sports groups and workers clubs, church groups, to ensure that each other's needs were being met. A generation of young people were the first in their families to attend university and they built an era of prosperity that we've all benefited from. And in this last 18 months, our nation stopped and hundreds of thousands of school children listened as our Prime Minister apologised to our Aboriginal people. And none of this was achieved by governments alone. These things were only ever achieved because we as a people came together and agreed to work for the common good, to cooperate, to look after each other. We are the lucky country, but we've also made our own luck. The ideal of the Australian fair go has seen us through the darkest of days and guided us to opportunities that our grandparents could scarcely have dreamt of. We've come so far, we've achieved so much, but there's still so much more for us to do. That's why we're establishing the Helping Hand campaign, because by giving just a little of your time to help at the local preschool, to mentor a young person into work, or to visit an older person in their home, we can all make a difference. I believe we will solve disadvantage in Australia, but it can only be done child by child, person by person, neighbourhood by neighbourhood. And your community is the best place to start. Because by doing that little bit, we can all make a difference and we can do something important for our country, our people, our future. Thank you very much.